for saying that. Kind of. I I don't think emotions are that big of a deal. But maybe that's just because I'm a guy and we're not that emotional. What about you? Um. So, so uh. So so what do you bring to for that dream guy that that you were talking about that you wanted? You know those stats. Like, what do you bring to him? I what cook, value? I clean. I fuck. I shut up. That's the. <laughs> hey, hey, she gets it. She gets it. Hey, she gets it. Hey, she she gets it. Honestly, no, like, no, no, like no, like she said, like it's really the personality. Like if you like me, you like me. That's just what it is. You think it's all personality? So it's just me. Funny. Y'all are goofy. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What about you? Um, I feel like the same. I'm gonna piggyback off what she said. The whole bring what you bring to the table. That's complete BS. Because if you meet really? a man that actually likes you. Mm-hmm. Like, my boyfriend, he does a lot of the cooking. I can cook and all that. I cook every now and then, but he'll do a lot of the cooking, the cleaning and whatnot. And whatever he is lacking, that's where I will pick up. Yeah, you're complimentary to what yeah. he lacks in. And then, like, uh, she said something else that I... Baby, can. will you grab it? Just just set the... Or just hit the little science button on it. But, yeah, I mean... Who is it that a celeb like celebrity women? They could be beautiful, cook, clean, bust it down every day of the week, and Chloe they will still get cheated mm. on. And that's the crazy thing. So it's like, fuck well, yeah, it, agree, the table, honestly. Well, well, the yeah. big thing is that like you're gonna get cheated on by guys that cheat or basketball players or any type of people. Like you gotta understand, like women kind of choose guys that are going to cheat, and they kind of know it, and they still do it. Like that's the big issue but, with but that. Like happen. if you're just with a guy that doesn't cheat, much. then you're with a yeah. good guy. You know, that's not that's not but a cheater. That also comes from. Like, when you deal with, like, your personal shit, like, your traumas Trauma. or whatever with the shit you've dealt with, like, that's when you, like, you'll you'll know when you're dealing with a fuck nigga. And you know when you're dealing with a good guy. Like, we we have, we have all know. And I'm pretty sure we've all dealt with guys that have been pieces of shit on purpose. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But, like, would you say, like, are you say we all know, like, do you think that sometimes y'all get finessed, though? And, like, these guys are so good at lying that you no, get finessed? I, feel like it's happened to everybody. I mean, I, I literally have panels of girls and every time it's, like, every one of them gets finessed by these dudes but because they're some, very good at lying. They're very good at telling, selling the dream. Yeah. You know? At some point, you know, cause I was before my current boyfriend, I was in a situation like that and he was selling the dream, but it's one of them things where it's like, there were certain things where it's just like, I was definitely boo-boo the fucking fool. Like mm-hmm. my hair is not blonde. There are blonde hairs in his bed. Clearly not mine, but I ignored it just for the fact that the benefits that I was reaping off of him, like mm-hmm. finding condoms in the trash can. Fat ass too, respectfully. <laughs> <laughs> like finding condoms in the trash can. I was like, I'm not even finna mm-hmm. deal with it just for the fact that I know that I don't want to be with you long term. This mm-hmm. is just for however long I feel like being a dumb bitch. <laughs> Everything At least you're honest with yourself. Me. I like how honest you are about all of it. What about you? So what value do you bring to that guy that you're on? That, that 6'3 dude that's probably super fucking rare. I would say loyalty. Like, if you're on your shit, then I'm going to support you. If you're doing stupid shit, I'm going to tell you you're doing stupid shit. Like, fix it, or I'm gone, or you're going to be gone, and you're not going to know what's going on with me. But, I mean, theoretically, would everybody love to have somebody that makes six figures? Of course. But realistically, you don't know what you're going to get. But that's the point of dating. And kind of like what the other girl said about, like, somebody's vibe how you feel about their personality but i mean if somebody is doing everything for you financially at home you have to give something like you can't just absorb and take and give yeah, nothing you're not mm-hmm. nobody's literally sitting on a throne nobody's gonna really wait on you hand and foot like that like if you're not contributing in some kind of way okay uh, i want to say what uh, the very first thing that you said loyalty that's actually probably one of the biggest deals like other than yeah. like what you were saying like honestly loyalty is everything yeah like we like as as men like we can tell that our like y'all wonder y'all are like these guys are insecure because they don't like these things they don't like this honestly it's because loyalty is a really big fucking deal to it us is, it's right. a very it, big it, fucking it deal but we're, we're we're gonna put a layer back on that after after you answer this so what what do you bring to that guy that that you want really bad Honestly, I would just say I could agree with almost every lady on this, like at this table about something. So I would say bits and pieces of everybody's comments because, you know, at the end of the day, I feel like we all want someone who's going to compliment us in areas we lack, Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, so it's like I don't even have to piggyback or double back on half the things these women said. I feel like everybody said something that is a quality that adds value to a man and the biggest thing is loyalty and trust and someone you feel like you can build your empire with Mm. because i want an empire at the end of the day my empire is definitely 
built off loyalty and mm-hmm. my trust between you because we can love somebody and have love doesn't mean that love brings us the loyalty and trust we need and also that security that all of us seek because that's what most people want is security within anything they're you know putting their energy into so yeah just want to reciprocate it here I'll, I'll do the super chats really quick so we keep up with them yeah we got a lot right <laughs> oh now. shit i didn't know i didn't know we had that many my Man. bad no it's all good uh one dollar for michael and Richard. thanks for making a hell of them, them, them pennies on us bro appreciate it uh jr uh, if JR was there, sound would be priority. Yeah, thank you, JR. I wish you were here, man. That was him. Uh, DC, the Beast, $5. Hey, ladies, who are y'all streaming in your music playlist? Fellas, pay attention. Who are y'all streaming in your music playlist? Yeah, really quick. Who Who's the number one person that you're listening to the most? Right now, artists. Yeah, just Archie, one. Uh, Archie Lee, 214. Okay. Mm-hmm. Damn, I would Talk say. Closer. I mean, I don't listen to much music, but like. My uh, son always says I listen to Chris Brown, so I mean, all right, Chris Brown. Here we go. How about you? <laughs> I've been listening to a lot of Mariah the Scientist lately. Mariah the Scientist. I don't know who that is. YB Young Boy. Okay, Young Boy. Oh, Boston Richie. Boston Richie. Ooh. Oh, Glorilla, fuck nigga free. Oh, okay. <laughs> and Drake and Twenty One, of course. Okay. But... Yeah, Twenty One. Right. Twenty One. Twenty One. Uh, recently, I done got, you know, very in tune with the female artist, Tim. Love. Love. Yeah. She's been speaking to me recently. Uh, they all just That's spoke a bunch of weird language to me. <laughs> I didn't know that. All right. Uh, what else is there? There's $2 from Gus. Uh, what are you working on to get the type of men you want? R- real quick, what are y'all working on to get the type of men you want? Myself. Yourself. Same. Absolutely. Well, you don't have to work on anything. You already got your man. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that I have what I need to bring to the table to make sure that he matches it. Yeah. Whatever he brings. So you're I not just it. the broke girl. Exactly. I thought you are the table. I am. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? My education, myself. Education and yourself. What about you? Yeah, myself. Okay. What are you working on to get the type of men you want? Um. Yeah. Even though I'm in a, in a oh yeah, you're in a relationship. I can yeah. still, you know, you can always do do yeah. better on yourself. Myself, you're always work in progress. I always. agree. Just like my soul, myself, my morals, really. Gus, they're all working on themselves. Hey, Sergio, let's yeah. let's go back around, starting with heaven. Agree? Whenever you say working on yourself, can you be specific about that? What is it that you focus on? I feel like if I want certain qualities in a man, do I have those qualities? You get what I'm saying? If I'm going to ask for this, mm-hmm. can I offer that? And I know everything that we want, we might not yeah. be able to offer. But biggest thing is, like I said, like I want to – I does it add value? I want to add value. So Absolutely. biggest thing is anything that I want from a man, I got to be that type of woman for him. You know? What? <laughs> what? Bro, so, what are you talking about, man? I was, okay, hold on. Okay, I guess let's run it back. <laughs> you made sense to me. Yeah, I'm yeah, glad the ladies understand. They Maybe, look, I don't know no. what the fuck Okay, hey, I, look, I'll explain it in a different version for you, just specifically. Break it down for us. <laughs> Basically, a simple version is like, hold on, ask the question again. Now what wanna... are you really like physically doing to like work on yourself? Okay, yes, to, my, to val- be my right values, my morals, me. Like that's literally what you have to work on is the things you're asking for from somebody. Just your morals. I, not even just your morals. The thing, the things that I want from somebody else. Can I do that? Have like, you been celibate lately? <laughs> what? I'm just wondering, like you're you're trying to like go like on a moral tangent, kind of like what kind of morals are we talking here? Like, well, they're definitely ain't morals if you're if you're able to flirt with clients while your man stays at Lord. home. Like I said, kind of everybody has about? a different perception. I might not consider it flirting. That's just good customer service. Okay, yes. some people <laughs> consider a smile, a okay. smile and a hello as a flirt. <laughs> Donna, you want them all to do that? To what? Uh, answer that, what they're all physically, like, yeah, actually working absolutely. on. Yeah, because I heard myself yeah. quite a bit, so y'all, uh, I, y'all ladies be ready. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 like, heard, like, the same answer My from everybody. We want too. something specifically. Yeah, give us a specific thing, because we always get these vague answers. And we right, want some... mind, body, health, soul. I know you might say that it's vague, but if you are trying to elevate and uplift yourself and your mind and actually grow your knowledge, your brain, all those things, that's going to help you understand what you want and need out of a man cuz mm-hmm. you're trying to figure mm-hmm. out yourself, you're learning yourself and also learning how to be I feel like better for someone else that you value. I'm going to I'm going to let y'all all say something and then I'm going to tell y'all the actual thing y'all should be doing. 